USA Radio News with Chris Barnes. The damage is significant. That's Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir as a tornado ripped through four states, including his last night, and it might have carved out the longest tornado track in U.S. history of recorded weather, at least. Severe weather leaving a trail of damage across the central U.S., destroying buildings, killing at least one person. That number expected to rise. The Washington Post says the deadly tornado that started near Monette, Arkansas, tore through Missouri and then Tennessee and then traveled about 240 more miles to Mayfield, Kentucky. It makes it the first tornado to cross through four states. Governor Bashir saying... Graves County and specifically the city of Mayfield have been hit really hard. The weather believed the cause of an Amazon warehouse collapse in Illinois where several workers are still trapped. And this is USA Radio News. Life is for trying new things. Having fun is an equal opportunity employer. There's a chance coronavirus booster shots may be required for Department of Defense workers, as Press Secretary John Kirby has told reporters leaders are having, quote, active discussions about whether or not to make them mandatory. The CDC recently recommended booster shots for all adults in light of the Omicron variant. Bob Dole made a last appearance at the World War II Memorial on D.C.'s National Mall on Friday when his casket was transported there after a funeral at Washington National Cathedral. The late Senate Majority Leader was a decorated veteran of the Second World War. Speaking at the World War II Memorial, actor Tom Hanks said of Dole, To appreciate the life and the accomplishments of Bob Dole, simply look around at where we have gathered today at this National Memorial to the Americans who gave their lives for the common good. Bob Dole died last weekend. He was 98. This is USA Radio News. Hi, it's Melissa Rivers with a great holiday gift idea from Terms Apply. President Biden is slamming Kellogg's for its plan to replace striking workers. The president issuing a statement late Friday saying that he's deeply troubled at Kellogg's, in his words, existential attack on the union. He called collective bargaining an essential tool that's used to protect the rights of workers. This after the union rejected a five-year contract and Kellogg's followed suit, announcing the permanent replacement of 1,400 workers across four states. Jana Dogar is now reportedly facing legal trouble as People is reporting the eldest daughter from the former TLC show 19 Kids and Counting was charged with endangering the welfare of a minor in September. On Thursday, her brother Josh was found guilty of receiving and possessing child pornography. A musician most known for his role as one of the original monkeys has passed away. What am I doing hanging around? Musician Mike Nesmith of the Monkees was 78 years old. He was born in Houston, moving to Dallas with his mom, and then dropping out of high school in 1960 to enlist in the Air Force. But after an honorable discharge, he attended some classes at San Antonio College. He moved to L.A. in the late 60s when he landed that part for the Monkees TV show. He had a nice solo career in the years that followed. Again, Mike Nesmith was 78. For USA Radio News, I'm Chris Barnes. For I love you and I- I know you love me.